Court documents have disclosed that Matthew Perry's final words to his assistant were, shoot me up with a big one, just hours before his tragic death. The Friends actor, who had long battled addiction, was found unresponsive in his hot tub on October 28th last year, at the age of 54. The details surrounding his death have become increasingly disturbing, as investigators continue to unearth a dark web of individuals who allegedly exploited Perry's addiction for profit. Texts between the defendants show a callous disregard for the star's well-being. Perry's ketamine suppliers were seemingly taking advantage of the star, with one message reading, I wonder how much this moron will pay. Perry's assistant, Kenneth Iwamasa, was heavily involved, administering the drug six to eight times a day. Even more shocking, Iwamasa had no medical experience, but was instructed by one of Perry's doctors on how to inject the drug. The person allegedly at the center of this drug network is Jasveen Sangha, who has been dubbed the Ketamine Queen. Sangha, a dual US-UK citizen, is accused of supplying Perry with ketamine from her North Hollywood home, which authorities described as a drug-selling emporium. Sangha's stash house was reportedly filled with vials of ketamine, thousands of pills, and other drugs. She lived a jet-setting lifestyle, flaunting her wealth and connections on social media, even attending high-profile events like the Golden Globes. Perry had started using ketamine as part of infusion therapy to treat his depression and anxiety. However, according to prosecutors, he soon developed an uncontrollable dependence on the drug. Desperation led him to buy unsupervised doses, with Perry paying over $55,000 for ketamine in the month leading up to his death. Court documents allege that Perry had a severe reaction to a large dose just weeks before his death, but this did not stop those involved from continuing to supply him. On the day he died, Perry received three injections of ketamine within a six-hour period. His assistant administered the last dose before leaving the house, only to return and find Perry dead in the water. It was later revealed that the ketamine levels in Perry's body were equivalent to a dose used for general anesthesia during surgery. The recent developments have been met with a mix of sorrow and relief from Perry's loved ones. His stepfather, Keith Morrison, expressed heartbreak over the loss, but was thankful that law enforcement had taken the case seriously. We were and still are heartbroken by Matthew's death, but it has helped to know law enforcement has taken his case very seriously, Morrison said. He also expressed hope that the arrests would send a message to those who profit from dangerous drugs. Marta Kaufman, co-creator of Friends, urged fans to remember Perry not as a man who succumbed to addiction, but as someone who brought joy and laughter to millions. She encouraged fans to celebrate Perry's life by watching friends and supporting drug treatment centers. Let's fight the disease, she said, hoping that Perry's death would help raise awareness about the dangers of addiction. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the channel icon. For more entertainment content, check out some of our other videos.